you to peace at the uh, Gospel Fest, and uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get that recorded. And I just wanted to share with you my piece that I did, and it's called Why. Why? Why do these things happen to me? What is it that God is trying to make me see? Why? Why was my mom taken away from me in four days when I was only 30? Why? Why was he driving that car so fast? Drunk, drunk as can be. Running the red light, doing about 50. Bam, slamming into my car, leaving me with yet another scar. Because now my daddy won't even talk. He only opens his eyes. I had to look at him like this for a year and three months. Each and every day, my heart just sunk. And the person that did this only got two years probation for what he did. And you know why? Because the attorney said, oh, it's his first offense. And he's really a good kid. Why? Why is my baby complaining about her joints? After a series of tests, they've gotten to the point. What? Lupus? Lupus is what she has? Now I'm her mom and I've got to be strong. But I know our lives have got to keep moving on. Why? Why is my aunt not answering her phone? I rush over there only to find that she's gone. Lying on that floor stiff and dead. I looked up and I said, God, how much more can you put on me is what I said. My life isn't supposed to be like this. You've taken my family away from me and now my baby is sick. I know I'm not supposed to question these things, but this is a tough pill to swallow. And I lay at night in bed and all I can do is holler. So one night as I got down on my knees, he came to me and said, give all your troubles to me. Worry not my child and you will see. All things happen for a reason. Now tell your story because it's true. This is something that I want you to do. Let them see how strong you are. And because of that, and you keep your faith, you'll know that I am never, ever too far.